Okay, <laughs> welcome to the outside bathroom. I'll show you some of the damage. So, these are the curtains. Um, you can see there's mould on the roof and grime and obviously stuff still being stored in here. Grime all over the floor. Pretty gross. And that's the windowsill ledge thingy. I've just taken that curtain down. That's kind of what we're looking at. Now this thing was unusable and I've washed it but now I'm soaking stuff in it so that's pretty crap. And this is the old style shower. See it has like a little bath in the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got these, it doesn't go all the way up to the top, it has this funny bit. Anyway, so if you have a shower in here, it's pretty gross because like there's spider webs everywhere. And on top of the shower here, I don't know if you can see that, it's like mouldy. And um, anyway, so this is the outside bathroom, which I'm trying to repair now because um, it has the really good water pressure. You've got to go through the outside laundry from outside to get into it but this is the new lawn bathroom right oh that made my face go funny colours anyway this is the new one and it looks really lovely and it's clean and I wash it but this is why this shower is shit so if you can see that but that's full pelt that there, that's full power on hot. So needless to say, when you have when you have an elderly person who you have trouble getting into the shower because, well, they don't want to wash their hair because they think <laughs> oh, it's so funny. They think that. Um, the hair's going to fall out and my grandfather's a bit funny, he uh, he w brushes his hair every day and he also um, hair sprays it to get, and he sees little waves in the front because, um, I don't know, recapturing his youth or something. But anyway, so last night I tried to get him in the shower. Now, I don't know if anyone knows about this but it's really difficult to get an old person to get in the shower. Especially if they think, I don't know why I'm puffing, maybe it's just that I'm getting asthma already. Um, he thinks his hair's going to fall out so he doesn't like to wash his hair. So then if he gets in the shower and it's too cold, he doesn't want to get in the shower because it's too cold. So he kept going to me, oh it's too cold, it's too cold. I said I'll put the heater on, I'll, put, I'll warm it up. So I warm their room up and I put his clean underwear and his clean singlet and I put in his um, pyjamas and everything, ready for him to have a shower last night, turns the tap on, sees the water like that and goes, oh, there's not enough water. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I've just spent from Tuesday to Sunday trying to get him in the shower. I finally got him in the bathroom agreeing to have a shower and he's like, no. So, I'm out here today in the old crappy one. As you can see, this one is. It's even got the old original tiles and crap. And the cobwebs. I don't know if you can see the cobwebs and crap. This bathroom, this bathroom hasn't been used in 20 years. Um, my mum grew up here when she was younger. And they used to use it. And when we used to visit, we used to actually have a bath in the bottom of the shower. Um, or in this one. Now it's full of junk at the moment, but it's see how deep it is. It was, it was like, it was like this. Oh, and that's, the heater. that's the heater that we used to have. It doesn't work now. I've got a, um, I put a different heater in. But yeah, so we used to either have a bath in that bath, or we would have a bath in the bottom. Oh, of the shower. Oh, my washing machine's going funny so much junk on there. I oh know, it's alright. It's alright, it's just the stuff that I've got to sit on top is banging around. So anyway, so that's what I'm doing and I thought, I'm, 
I'm looking at this and I'm, I've got my little sponge and I went like this and I'm like, what is this rubbish? I think it's dirt coming in from God knows where. So anyway, so the, my um, grandfather's at um, an activity program today. So I'm in here. I'm in here like busting my ass to get this more sanitary, if that's a word, sanitary, so that I can get him to have another shower. So wish me luck because I don't know that I'll get him in there. He's a bit of a stubborn old man when it comes to things like that. Won't shower his hair because his hair will fall out. And I'm thinking he's got like cradle cap stuff going on. Oh, look how good that comes off. And that's just water. Mm. I'm liking that. See if you can move them. See the air condition is going in. Comes off. That's really good. So anyway, so that's what I'm doing while he's off. He's having activities. They um, told me that they were taking him out for coffee today. And um, last week they went for a picnic at Mordialic Beach. And the week before that they went to... I don't know if it was a week before or a couple of weeks. They went to a, a, a um, restaurant in Mordialic called Jack's Place. So he says to me this morning, I don't want to go. I don't like to go and then the lady gets here and he's all excited and happy to go and he always is every week so we just go through the dilemma and see how we go that's pretty much it oh crap oh that's all right the things we do the family. Oh my god, there's a spider and it's alive and I don't like them. Go away, Mr. Spider. Go away. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I've actually got the bath empty. Now all I need to do is clean it and find out which one of these geometric plugs. I think it might be that one. No. Which one of these geriatric plugs will actually fit this old, that one doesn't, fit this old bath? And then next, oh, it's not next week, it's on Thursday, this Thursday, so today's Monday. So in a couple of days, my nephews will be here. And um, Joshua, I think, is three. So now I've got a bath because in the inside bathroom there is no bath. It's just a shower, a toilet and a hand basin. So oh, I'm buggered because I've just done so much cleaning in here. I've given the floor a bit of a clean. So it's not perfect but see how much better that is than what it was. And um, I gave the curtains a bit of a clean. They're just drying but they're also falling apart. So I'm going to have to uh, make some new curtains or buy some new curtains so um, it was a really long job but there's one bit done and now I'm going to clean the bath and hopefully by the time Thursday comes along it's not going to be too bad for the kids because it's pretty gross out here. Um, they're boys though so I don't know if they might like it but um, I'm going to clean that bath and um, I'm going to end up needing a shower on myself. I've got dirt all over me and um, I'm saying I'm all, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to clean that and see how we go and see, I think it's crossed if I can get part of shower today or at least have a bath because he stinks. Well, it doesn't stink yet, but you know, I've got to make him change his clothes every day because otherwise, yeah, he stinks. <laughs> Anyway, um, back to work.
oh yeah that's so gonna need scrubbing yeah scrubbing Now, if you thought cleaning that bathroom, well, what I did of it, was the end of my day, no. I've already been out and helped Damien. I had to go and pick him up from the mechanic. I've already done dishes. I've already done some washing. And now, on top of the bathroom, I'm making Pa's bed. And I've got nice, clean pillow slips for him and everything. And um, he's actually been out, and he'll be home any moment now. Oh. Uh, about quarter past two so any time from now on he'll turn up so hopefully I get the bed done before he gets here um, because I don't know for some reason he, I think he might be a little bit upset because he doesn't like change sometimes but then again he may be because he's got nice clean sheets so who knows anyway I better get back to work <laughs> Success! Yay! One par in the shower! <laughs> and he came back and after all his complaining this morning about not wanting to go, he loved it. He had an awesome time and now he's in the shower! Yay! It's worth the effort. <laughs> 